What does it mean to be a parent? Percy Jackson is a 13 year old boy trying to figure himself out. He's trying to navigate a very complicated world of demigods, ego, and faith. So only slightly more dangerous than middle school. This show dropped in your Disney Plus account over the last month, and in case you missed it, it's pretty good. Percy Jackson, the son of Poseidon, is a young man who reaches a mature age and stumbles upon a quest with two others for a MacGuffin. Insert Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and Star Wars joke right here. Look, that's all the fun I'll have with this, I swear. I know it's a premise that's been done before, but it's not always about the story, it's also the presentation, the execution, and how you get there. And I'm thankful to say, this show does a pretty, say original, but a unique way to do things. This show is based on a long-running book property that will more than likely have spin-offs and sequels and multiple seasons, as they've already teased. But let's focus on this show. Percy is taken to Camp Half-Blood after being sold out as previous school by his best friend Grover, and it's at this camp where he meets his guardian, the traitor, Grover. He's sized up by other demigods who are curious to see what this kid can do. Soon enough, he makes friends with Annabeth Chase, a young lady who is far more suited for the task, a la Hermione. And then we're off to the races. This show covers a lot of Greek mythology, more than I'm qualified to really discuss, but I'll say this. It's refreshing to see so many new and modern takes on old characters. Medusa being a southern belle, Hermes being a UPS delivery guy, and Ares being AEW's Adam Copeland, and Lance Riddick being Zeus. How fitting, and God rest you. This show does a lot to modernize the Greek pantheon while also giving us a story about kids that are hurting. And I don't just mean the main trio. Even the demigods are in pain over the lack of love shown by their parents. To this, Percy is accepted, being loved by his mother and guarded by his father. Poseidon, a character that acts as any parent would, surrenders to Zeus immediately in exchange for his son's life. A deadbeat dad? Maybe? But at least Percy got some neat water powers out of the deal. The Lightning Thief saga feels like a great first step, and they did a lot of world building while allowing us to explore more of the world in the future. The casting also seems to be right on point, and I hope we can continue to see most of these characters return. This show has a bright future, and I look forward to hearing more about your thoughts. It's a B from me, but I already know Chema is going to love this show a lot more than I am. That said, what did you think? Go ahead and comment down below, we'd greatly appreciate it, and we'll catch you all next time. We'll see everybody.